the amazing power of prayer points. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive my sins and release me from generational curses. With the staff of Moses, I divide and scatter the Red Sea of poverty, sickness, and disease, migraine, depression, imprisonment, disappointment, fire, fire, fire oh! in the name of Jesus. Fire, no! fire in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of Jesus destroy the blood and blood of Jesus in your life. In the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost begin to destroy whatever that is not of Christ in your life. In the name of Jesus, who are you? To in the name of Jesus, speak out. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, who are you in this body? Speak out in the name of Jesus Christ. By the authority in the name of Jesus, I command in the name of Jesus upon this mountain and I declare, Who are you? In the name of Jesus, speak out. In the name of Jesus. Can you speak now? Who are you in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. Speak out in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I want to destroy him. Why do you want to destroy him? What has he done to you? Why do you want to destroy him? In the name of Jesus, upon this mountain, I ask you to speak out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why did you want to destroy this body? Why did you want to destroy him? Why did you want to destroy you this want body? To know. You want to know. Jesus Christ wants to know. I am not interested, but Jesus is interested to know. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, Jesus is interested to know. I'm the destroyer. Why do you want to destroy him? Why, 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 why? And the family is alive. I killed. I killed his father. I, I killed his father. They don't want to serve me either for me. No, he stood. He stood. He said he want to fight me. Because he said he want to want fight me. He want to end me. He's the only one I know. I operate in that family. Ah! What, has, what has he done to his ah! father? In the name of Jesus. Ah! 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 What have you done to his career? Nothing. Ah! Nothing. Nothing. He can never. I will not allow him. I, I will not. I will not. Why won't you allow him? What has he done to you? In the name of Jesus, speak out. By the authority in the name of Jesus. They refuse to serve me. They refuse to serve me. They refuse to serve me. They refuse to serve you. They refuse to serve you. Why do you want him to serve you? I'm the family I do. Family I do. Yes, a sexual spirit. A sexual spirit. What is your purpose of staying in this body? Speak out in the name of Jesus Christ. What is the purpose of staying in this body? This is the temple of God and not your temple. I know, I know. What is the purpose of you staying in this body? <laughs> this body must be destroyed. If I can't kill him, at least I'll be able to destroy him. Hold him down, hold him back, stagnate him. Do you know him? Do you know him? Jesus knows him. I don't know him. Jesus knows him. <laughs> And Jesus will want you out of this body. This is not your temple, but the temple of the Holy Ghost. This is not your temple, but the temple of Jesus. By the authority in that name, Jesus, upon this mountain I stand, and I declare in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, out of him in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, thou son of David, begin to rain your fire from the throne.
expression of grace right now. Lord, let your fire be put to fall right now. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost, let the fire of the Holy Ghost begin to fall right now. Now, 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 in the name of Jesus, fire from the throne of grace. Fire, fire, in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, we declare your fire to begin to consume every ancestral power, every ancestral power, every ancestral power, in the name of Jesus, every ancestral power, come out of this body. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, Lord, let every generational curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The amazing power of prayer points. I am from Enugu State, Nigeria. I want to glorify the name of God for saving my life, for delivering me from spiritual attack. Family I do, family curses, generational curses, spirit of snake and marine spirit. All the says has been happening, happening in my life for a very long time. To an extent, it caused me delay in almost everything. And this whole thing led me to watching pornography, and I developed depression depression and it works in a way that I would not want to associate with anybody I would always want to be alone I would be unhappy I developed um, a chronic headache I'm always confused I was stagnated backwardness failure in everything I do. I look down on myself. And every time I'm always having that urge to satisfy my sexual wants, sexual wants, and that led to masturbation. To the extent that I can masturbate four times in a day. Sometimes I will wake up in the morning and the previous night I might have planned of going to church and I might have prepared the clothes that I wanted to wear to church but I wake up in the morning immediately that urge come upon me and I masturbate I will not I will not want to go to church that very day. I might have planned going to church on Sunday. On Saturday, I will prepare the clothes that I will want to wear to church. 
but I might have planned going to church on Sunday but on Saturday I will prepare and prepare the clothes that I will want to wear to church but unfortunately early in the morning Sunday morning early in the morning early, early Sunday morning that audio come to me and I will do those rubbish and my plan of going to church will be aborted and throughout that day I'll be indoor I'll be indoor uh, there will be no church I'll just be there lock myself up I will avoid friends I will not want anybody to see me because I will look I will, I will look I, it will look as if and see if I'm not part of the people around me that I'm a friend person at all. I'm I'm not qualified to be among live the living. I'm not qualified to be among my age group. I was so 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 depressed. This whole thing continued and each day by day it keeps on getting worse, worse and worse. When I say worse, you get to understand that I will almost empty my account, the little money I have in my account, buying data to watch pornography. And this whole thing make me to spend almost all the money I have in doing all this rubbish and each time I'm doing it I'm, I discover that each time these things happen to me I discover that inside me I'm dying as if my spirit is a cage as if I'm dying inside me, something inside me is dying. As if the light in me is quenching. I have no vision. I'm always confused. I can't think straight. Academically, I'm down. And I can't even reason well. Mentally, I'm not balanced since I got into this. And Anything I do doesn't work out. People look down on me. I look down on myself. I don't want to associate people because I feel they will say one, two, or one or two things that will hurt me. I will look down on myself as if there's no, there's nothing. There's nothing good about me. I see if everything about me just terrible. Each time I go into this, I will cry and ask God and ask God for mercy. I will pray and I will go on YouTube to watch the message of different man of God to encourage my faith. Despite that, all this still continue. Before now, about eight years ago, when the wise man was still in the synagogue church of all nation. I had an encounter in my dream where I saw a I saw wise man in a store where I went to buy a cosmetic product. When I got to the store, the owner of the store, I asked the owner of the store if he has if he have the particular product that I was looking for, but he said that that particular product has finished. But when I looked, I saw the product that I was looking for and I told him you say you don't have this product but 
look at the product that I'm looking for. Look at it over there. He said that those products, no, no, there's nothing inside, that they are all empty. He said, but you can check if there's anything inside each, any of those empty, uh, empty containers. If there's anything inside. So, I checked. So, I checked. Among all the containers, there's only one that has the product inside. So, I told him that there's one particular one that is not empty. He said, okay, that this is the price of that one. I told him that that is so expensive that I can't buy that at that price. Immediately, I heard the voice behind me, and, and the voice said, Buy it, it's worth the price. And that voice sounded the same as the voice of the wise man, Daniel. Wise man Daniel. So immediately, I turned around and called him in a loud tone, Wise man Daniel. And he said to me, Why do you call me wise man? And I said, it's because I'm a member of Synagogue Church of the All Nation and I've always prayed for salvation and replied and said, Surely, surely you will get salvation. That was eight years ago, before now. So, all this thing continued, masturbation, pornography, and this whole thing got me crazy. When I say crazy, I was totally down, mentally sick. You can't, you can imagine what I go through: depression, constant headache, failure. People look down on me. I look down on myself. I found no value. I think there is nothing good that can come out of me. The only thing that gave me hope was the revelation that I always get in my in my in, in my dream, which each time I have it, God always revealed to me that I will be saved, that no matter what happened, that I should hold on and I'll be saved, that they will try. They will try, but they will not succeed. That I will get what get to where he wants me to be. So I keep on believing, praying with men of God, praying. I always go to YouTube. There was one particular day that I I logged in YouTube and I clicked YouTube and I discovered a video of Wise Man Daniel. And I am listening to him. I listen to his message. What got me afraid is that he said that the word of God is coming upon the youth that if they don't repent from all those things, that they will start dying, uh, dying of strange diseases which which will which we claim the life of so many youth and anybody that about it will be surprised that why would you be having such strange sickness sickness strange diseases and why would you be having such strange diseases why would so, such diseases be, be and I I I thought I thought and a thought came to me and said, Your wise man is talking to you. You cannot allow this to happen to you. You have to seek the face of God. And immediately he prayed for the youth. And when he prayed for the youth, I discovered that there is there is this force, this anger that erupted within me that wanted to explode and as if something was trying to pull out of me. After the prayer, I sent him a testimony that this is what I was facing and this is what happened to me. This is what happened to me during the prayer. 
so I sent the testimony. Actually, after I sent the testimony, I never, I never thought of getting replied, but I got replied. I got replied. But some days later, the wise man called me and told me that the Lord is interested in youth like you and God wants to save youth like you that whatever you you are going through that God will deliver you from it and he, he gave me the amazing prayer points very very amazing so powerful so fireful, so forceful, demons cannot withstand it. So it asks me that the only way I can assess the power of God in that prayer point is to forgive my past. Forgive the wrong people have done to me in the past and forgive myself for the wrong I have done to myself. And after the, that, I should read Psalm 51. Uh, after reading this psalm, I should pray the prayer with all seriousness. And after the prayer, I should read Psalm 121. And is assuring me that after this, I will be delivered. And he is going to back me up in prayer. I was so surprised and shocked that wise man, a man of God, called me I was so happy and I, I prayed the prayer going as you can see in our video what happened to me and now I give glory to God I'm free and I'm free indeed so to you youth out there pornography is not good it's a medium that the devil is using to destroy the youth immorality is so powerful. Sexual immorality is so powerful and it keeps you in bondage. It controls you. It ties your spiritual life down. It destroys your flesh. It destroys your mentality, your thinking, everything about you. It delays your progress. It cripples you down and it, it can delay your destiny. You, it, it can delay your destiny. Your destiny. And you will not be able to make it in life. So please, it's not worth it. Quit. And if you have the opportunity to have this amazing power of prayer point, pray it with all seriousness. No matter what has happened to you, it's not worth it. Forgive. You have to forgive and forgive yourself. Forgive. It's not worth it. Forgive. And pray that prayer with all seriousness. And I show you, God will deliver you from all those rubbish, all those nonsense. And if you if you look at it, there's no profit in it. It has no money to your account. Instead, it will take from you. It will take from your vitality. The little money you have in your account and to destroy your spiritual life and the fire of God in your life will reduce, if not extinguish. So, please, you have to put an end to this. It's time. It's time to know the truth and to open your eye to the true reality behind this pornography stuff. It destroys the destiny. And it kills progress. That's why you you see somebody that is doing well in academic. But once he gets into this, he will be mentally down. And he will not do and he will not do well at all in school. All is interested, all the all what his brain is programmed 
to do or to think is how to satisfy that urge. So it's time to quit. And I give glory to God for setting me free. I thank God. Congratulations, viewers all over the world. The hour has come for you and your entire family to be healed, delivered, blessed, and saved through the amazing power of prayer points released by God Almighty Himself through His anointed servant, wise man Daniel. Many have been asking for how they could get these prayer points. Therefore, to get a copy of these prayer points, you can contact Wise Men Daniel Ministries as you send in your prayer request through our WhatsApp prayer request line plus 234-9021-470247. Viewers all over the world, as you are ready to follow the divine instruction, remember to alert your husband, wife, sister, brother or friend to get their camera or handset ready to record because something will happen that would make you know that indeed God is great. And at the end, make sure you send us such videos as evidence of your testimony through our WhatsApp testimony line plus 234-9015-11 3002. Finally, viewers all over the world, be careful of fraudsters who are trying to use this opportunity to defraud you. Freely, Wiseman Daniel received these prayer points from God's bedroom and freely he is giving you. These prayer points are not for sale and there is no financial bargain for it. If you pay anyone money to receive it or someone asks you to pay them money to receive it, it will not work for you and you will only end up increasing your problems. So don't be desperate about it. Be patient to get it free from the right source because salvation is free. We can't wait to hear your testimonies. God bless you. Shalom.